law. You know. I was looking in this law dictionary, you know, and uh, they have what's known as a trial. Yes, uh, a trial, public trial, an open trial conducted in the presence of the public as opposed to a closed trial. Yeah. And uh, then they have a trial by jury, a uh, trial in which the verdict will be brought in by a jury after hearing all the evidence in the KC trial non-jury. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I was arrested on this January 4th, and uh, I was going to have a jury trial. Oh. <laughs> and uh, the city of Squim was prosecuting, or they were the plaintiff. They were the ones that, that were... Uh, said that I violated the protection order. Yes. Mm -hmm. But this is a jury trial, and then there's an order setting schedule and directing pretrial procedures. Yeah. <laughs> well, it turns out that the city of Squim decided that the state of Washington should be the plaintiff in a jury trial! Now... We had a situation where uh, I was requested to appear in court to explain why I missed a mental health evaluation. Yeah. And uh, as I had mentioned that I wanted it explained, my right to a speedy trial, but it looks like the state of Washington as a plaintiff uh, deprived me of a speedy trial because they decided to set a court date greater than 90 days. Now, when the city of Squim decided that it should be the state of Washington that was the uh, plaintiff in the trial, yes, because originally I was arraigned on uh, January 5th of 2016, and it was the city of Squim, yes, versus Paul Budnick. <laughs> it's a jury trial. Now, I wanted, in fact, I had emailed, I'd like to have the, ex the speedy trial on uh, the 4th of uh, April 2016. Yeah. <laughs> and I explained to my public defender that I wanted to call witnesses on my behalf in my favor to explain why I was arrested on January 4th when I was not in Squim on December 31st. Yes. But instead of removing the protection order in which there was no power over the parties of minors of the subject matter, the state of Washington decided that they were going to deprive me of a speedy fucking trial, violating my constitutional rights. And they were going to schedule it for 427 of 2016, 15th of March 2016. <laughs> You can see my signature right there. <laughs> now I know when I sue the state of Washington for violating my right to a speedy trial, as I had documented in my emails, <laughs> my right to a speedy trial is a constitutional right, and I have the right to call witnesses on my behalf. <laughs> now I don't know what the state of Washington's doing. But when the state deprives me of a speedy trial because Squim Washington decided they didn't want to be the plaintiff, the state of Washington decided they wanted to be the plaintiff. It could be that they don't understand the importance of the speedy trial. Now, when I look here in the uh, Constitution, okay, in the original ten amendments of the, of the Bill of Rights, <laughs> yes! How's it going? Call you back in just a moment.